Okay, all right. So final product I want to show you is, um, again, the advert is very much loosely connected to what you see, okay? But we've talked about AR, so let's talk about VR. So the final product is Meta's Horizon Worlds VR video game. Um, technically, this one hasn't failed yet. It's uh, it's still going, um, but it's really, really struggling to, to, to gain users. Um, there's still every possibility that Zuck could turn this around. I mean, he's... Um, He's still got a lot of money. Um, however, right now it's looking pretty rough. Um, but look, let, let, let's take a look at Horizon Worlds and get your perspective. Welcome to a place of limitless possibilities. A place where you can invent things, transform things, create entire worlds. So it's designed to be a social meeting spot, gaming area, and work with others. And simulation of real life. Mm. However, what you're seeing on the screen right now is not what <laughs> is shown in reality. They have legs now. They don't they're not just floating torsos. <laughs> the legs in the demo recently showed are not from the in-game experience. They were added. Really? Um, yeah, it was, it was revealed. So so they don't have legs either. No, but they will soon. But no, the de the video demo was fake. I love that there's a roadmap somewhere that just has an item where it says legs. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, that's interesting. And together, we can build Horizon. Okay. Um, Joe, what's your take on Horizon Worlds? It's a fascinating question, right? Because it represents like the metaverse, this idea of a, yeah. a, 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 in theory, limitless playground for your imagination that is, inhabit that is inhibited only by how brilliant your mind is. Yeah. Obviously, the reality is the technology and the product doesn't quite meet that expectation yet, mm. right? It's a, it's a noble attribute. I think it's a fantastic idea, but does the execution actually meet the uh, the concept? Mm. I don't think so. I've I've tried the meta um, the, the the VR uh, um, um, like Horizon Verse product. Yeah, it's a tech demo again. I mean, it's still very early. I mean, I don't think they would claim it to be anything else really at this point. Um, and it was fun. Mm. It was fun. Um, I tried like some of the more social aspects of it where you yeah. speak to other people. Sure. It's fun. I mean, I'm not sure it had much utility over WhatsApp or Zoom, sure. but maybe that's because yeah. it's early. Yeah. And I tried the professional one, which was you're kind of sitting in a meeting like this. Yeah. And the, the mixed reality one? Well, no, it was yeah. where you were avatars and oh, okay. we would all be the different avatars. Workspaces, I think it's called. I think so. And again, like, uh, it wasn't something that I could see myself using on a regular basis. Sure. It wasn't something that I could see myself really competing to. Now, if the resources can be added to it, if it can be something really special, yeah. that'd be fantastic. But I'm a bit of a skeptic. Okay. What, what do you think when you see, not not necessarily that video, but um, <laughs> I'm sure you've seen the screenshot of Mark with the, the Paris um, yeah. Eiffel Tower behind him and and that lost them hundreds of millions of <laughs> dollars. Um, but what, what do you think of Horizon Worlds in, in its current form? Edward? I think it's actually interesting because earlier uh, during the recording, we have also discussed that Z Mark Zuckerberg, he is usually very like calculated in making mm -hmm. the business decisions and uh, kind of the horizon world is opposite of pretty much calculated <laughs> business decision because they didn't really have any hard evidence that the metaverse is going to call. Uh, it's a bet, wasn't it? Yeah, a, a bit of a bet and per probably like personal passion of Zuckerberg with like oh, yeah. virtual reality, etc. Um, but yeah, um, uh, I think it will, to be honest, uh, stay niche product for quite a bit of time yet, sure. because I think there was, were like very, like multiple attempts, let's say, to create those virtual worlds. And yeah. uh, at the end of the day, yeah. um, usually they, they would semi fail. Um, <laughs> yeah. I used to, well, whether you, you will say that played it or like used that uh, there was a second life second by Lyndon. Yeah, yeah. Lyndon the Lux. original metaverse, right? Yeah, yeah. the original yeah. metaverse. Yeah. And yeah, all of them at some point kind of go down a bit. So sure. yeah. Yeah, I've, I've spoken to people who um, know Mark and have worked for Mark and they say that um, you mentioned he was passionate about the metaverse. Passion doesn't even begin to um, elude. It's an obsession. <laughs> apparently you can't have a conversation with, with Mark without him pivoting to the metaverse. And, and apparently it's really annoying for a lot of the people that, 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 that work for him. Um, but yeah, since Facebook rebranded as, as Meta, the company, um, their value has plummeted from being worth 
one trillion dollars to now less than 300 billion okay um they've lost 70 percent of their value in in a single year um, mark zuckerberg has personally lost more than um i think it was like a hundred billion in the past year he's, he's gone from being the third richest person in the world he's not even on the top 10 li- li- list it's a shame. <laughs> I, I know and not even in the top 10 how will he survive <laughs> but this clearly hasn't gone according to plan or maybe he's playing you know 40 chess and he, he expected this and, <laughs> and 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 maybe it will turn around next year but um when you see what's happening with this what what, what do you think of um uh, edward if that, if that would be self what, what when, when i tell you facts and numbers like that what what, what do you think well, I think, yeah, uh, as mentioned, uh, probably this wouldn't become their core business within the foreseeable future. And uh, probably kind of the personal passion of uh, Mark Zuckerberg as a leader of the company sure. kind of uh, in a way uh, took over the rational decision making. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think they would either pivot back to traditional social networking and uh, the Meta, mm. uh, Meta Pro- Horizon Worlds projects would remain as kind of a bit of a moonshot, which maybe stays within the company development, yeah. but uh, is not prioritized. Um, yeah, I think something like that. What would your take on this be? I have to say I admire it quite a lot. I mean, I don't necessarily agree it's going to be the future of it, but I can't think of another mate, a business as large as Facebook that's taken that big a bet hey, you've got, on you've something. You've got to respect, like, the, the commitment the, the is unbelievable to, yeah. to risk it all on what could make you king of the universe. Exactly right. I mean, you could control a profound technology for human experience, but also it could go down in, like, uh, like MBA yeah. uh, case studies as one of the worst strategic decisions that a big business has ever made. Yeah. Yeah. I think time will tell which one it is. I mean, I have a, I'm slightly skeptical. It will be, it will make him the sort of the, the founder of a new way of humans communicating. Yeah, sure. But we'll see. We'll okay. see. Well, what happens when the graphics are getting better and better, right? They're not great now. But I've tried out headsets which solve the problem that you mentioned of, of black bars. Yeah. I've, I've tried out headsets where, where there is no, it, it's, it's immersion. I've tried out um, omnidirectional treadmills um, where I can walk, run, crouch, jump, and even swim in VR by being hooked onto a 360 degree treadmill. I've tried out the Tesla suit, which I can be touched on my left shoulder in VR and I'll feel it in, in the real world because it's got haptic feedback around me. I've tried out VR gloves where I can pick up an item and it will feel like that item and it will feel heavier if I pick up a heavy item and lighter if I pick a heavy item. When the tech gets great to the point where the graphics um potentially become indistinguishable from real life. And and I say that saying like, who knows if that's going to be possible. But mm. if we look back just a couple of decades ago to when we had Pong, the first ever video game, and think about how primitive that is. And and now what, what's like the most advanced video game right now? Like the God of War or something? Like, you know, something where the graphics are like, oh my God, that's that's insane. If we can get that on a, on a VR headset, um, which if you give enough money, enough time, enough innovation to something, it could potentially happen. And then you strap up on, onto a, a suit where you can feel. Uh, I've, I've seen, I haven't played around with this, but I've seen VR devices where you can smell. And based on what's on the screen, it will produce a smell based on that. If you simulate real life using all of this, can you potentially see people spending a lot of their life in this? And um several hours a day, whether that's work, whether that's play, whether that's gaming, whether that's both. D- do you do you see this potentially happening in, in the next couple of years? Did, Joe, what, what, what would you say? In the next couple of years, no, but I mean, if it was that realistic, if it, yeah. if it immersed you that much, then yeah, absolutely. I'm sure people would use it. I'm like, I mean, I, I've, I've longed for a holodeck all of my life. Right? Sure. Like, like it's one of my favorite bits of Star Trek. Yeah. But like, yeah, I think we're pretty far away from that sure. from a technology point of view. I think the other challenge is that like the, 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 the just, like, in the last 10 or 15 years, like we've been on this inexorable journey toward technology becoming a physically less intrusive part of our life. Okay. Right? We've yeah. gone from desktops to laptops to phones to iPads where technology gets smaller, less intrusive, more portable, Yeah. like more importantly. And ultimately, like the thing I, I don't, can't quite wrap my head around is the, 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 the putting on the physical suit, glasses, the gloves, the things that produces the smell. 
is counter to a bunch of that sort of broader trend, right, of technology becoming less obtrusive and less sure. physically inconvenient, for lack of a better word. So again, I, I, I don't necessarily think this will block the kind of adoption of it, but it's an interesting kind of juxtaposition, right, because my phone gets smaller and smaller and smaller. I can do more and more and more on my phone. I need less large devices. Yeah, well, it's the law of accelerating returns. It was Moore's law and that kind of got displaced. So now, yeah, you're right, from, from computer to laptop to iPad to phone to smartwatch to AR, VR, and then a chip inside you, like Neuralink <laughs> or something. Sure. Um, you know, then the singularity is is here. But um, what, what, what do you think, um, Edward, about what, what, what we were just discussing there? I mean, do, do you see people spending life in in vr or do you think reality will never be replaced i don't think reality will be completely replaced but i think uh, there is a possibility uh, I, th I think it would also depend a lot on the particular part of the world we are talking about sure. and i think there is a possibility that for example some of the work can be done in virtual reality yeah. es especially in for example developing world countries mm. Uh, with like lower salaries where it's possible to potentially do some job overseas, uh, for example, in a virtual world yeah. and uh, earn more money than traditional job do you know, within yeah. this country. So I think that's, uh, that's possible. And I think that's uh, quite likely that within uh, the development of technology, this is going to happen. Yeah. But uh, what I also think regarding like virtual uh, reality in a way, I don't think the meta would actually be the ones uh, who would develop it because okay. Okay of the general, let's say, movement towards and kind of the uh, concern people have with like Facebook and Instagram yeah, privacy and, and yeah, privacy yeah, sure. and then um, control of the information. And if we're like moving into uh, higher levels of immersion and higher levels of uh, social networks being ingrained in yeah. our in our life, I don't think this would be one of the like big corporates. Potentially, this would be some sort of like, yeah. I don't know, blockchain based project or decentralized project, but yeah. uh, not the uh, not the, not Meta probably. Well, that's why they rebranded, right? They had really bad, <laughs> bad PR around. I mean, Facebook became an older product to to, to use. You know, TikTok came out of nowhere, um, and, and and whatnot. If you look at Horizon Worlds, it's really not the best example of what the metaverse looks like at the moment. If you try out VR Chat, for example, I don't know if you've ever played on that one, but that's the same thing, but infinitely better. <laughs> and not and for, it's, but it doesn't take meta to, to make that they, they, sure. they, they, they've made it has legs in that you're, you're, you're <laughs> to, to, to know um, I was playing um, Cards Against Humanity in it the, the, the other day I took my headset off and it had been four hours I, I, I had no idea that's why I need glasses but um, and, I, and I recently I've been using um, you know my, my headset to do mixed reality uh, poker games where in my, in my living room I will, I will play I'll, I'll play my, my mum and my little brother have both got a headset we can play poker t together <laughs> um, which is a cool experience um, it's it's nowhere near as good as what that video showed so sure. it's some deceptive marketing there in, in, my, in my opinion but um, you know you could make the same argument for uh, for the Google Glass a second ago as well right Absolutely. Um, if, if, if you both had a big pile of chips money and you can put that on red or black in uh, in a game of roulette. And, and red is in 20, 30 years, we're all living in VR a couple of hours a day. And black is it's not gonna it's not gonna happen. Would you put your your money on on red? Yes, VR or black? No, no VR. Probably red. I mean, uh, like um, I'm not 100 percent convinced it will happen. But like yeah. if I was taking a bet, yeah, yeah, if I was a good bet. What would you say? Yeah, I think the same, at least partially, maybe not the entire day, maybe not the entire immersion, but sure. at least partially, I think this this is going to happen. Okay. Uh, there's been a few use cases I've seen recently, which make me think um, that you both are probably right. And when I was um, moving into my new property, I was able to put on a headset and see what it would look like before it was. And and for, for, for a company which is not a tech company to, to do that was very... A black mirror moment -y. <laughs> I was like, whoa, this is interesting. Um, I, I'm working with a company at the moment um, where we're recruiting developers for them and they're, they're developing um, simulation software for surgeons to practice surgery before they go into the operating theater. And it's massively increasing the risks and the dangers and the downsides of, of things going wrong. It's not perfect, but you, if you're a surgeon in training, it, it can help. 
Um, and obviously there are a million other use cases around that as well. Um, when, when you think of little things like that, people are, are, are looking at the metaverse and thinking, look, it hasn't changed the world, so it's, it's not going to happen. But if we have incremental steps towards that, for sure, that could be a possibility, right? Would, would, that, would that be crazy or do you think that that makes sense? I mean, if you look at the development of the web, it's the same thing, right? Like, yeah. ultimately, the web originally started as an academic research tool. Like yeah. one, of the yeah. most, one of the most niche use cases you can think of. And bit by yeah. bit by bit, Tim new communities, Lee. new use cases yeah. emerged, shopping emerged, social media emerged, a bunch of things emerged. And as you layer them on, it became a more and more powerful tool. So, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't rule out um, the metaverse having the same journey. Okay. Well, what do you think? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much the same. I think it's quite likely that the steps will be incremental. Yeah. This wouldn't happen, uh, let's say, straight away. But yeah, incremental steps would probably lead to some some level of immersion. Okay. Cool. The interesting thing I would say though is that the web was fundamentally built on open technology. Right? It was yeah. a fundamentally, a, in, in many ways, a decentralized, open yeah. community that you could work on. So innovation could be. Um, come in fits and spurts. You could have huge leaps forward and like mm. daily incremental change. As far as I'm aware, I don't know that much about it, but as far as I'm aware, Facebook is p building a walled garden. Mm. Right? It's building something that it controls. And yeah. personally speaking, I would always bet on open ecosystems sure. rather than closed ecosystems, just yeah. because of the incentives everybody has in them. But like, yeah, if 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 uh, that 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 red that money I'm putting on red, I'd be a lot more comfortable with it if I was betting on an open okay. uh, metaverse ecosystem. Yeah, that's, that's why Wikipedia won. Yeah, it's free. Anybody can can do it. If a company tried to do that, for sure, wouldn't have the same feeling when when you're doing it. Okay, but potentially, for example, they can open source it later and mm. kind of uh, then build the business around the use cases on top of the metaverse. For sure, so, yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay, as as somebody who your, your company's heavily blockchain based, yeah. right? So it's uh, yeah, I, I I agree with what you're saying. Um. Okay, let's let's rate Horizon Worlds, please. Let's uh, let's get your verdict on its current form. Don't think of that picture. Think of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, we've got a five. I'm, I'm sitting firmly on the fence. So we got a six. So we got eleven. Well, well done, Google. Google Glass. Even though it's an <laughs> old product, you've you've beaten the metaverse. You have beaten the pixie. That wasn't hard, was it? <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. If you'd asked me to choose which ones I thought would come out top at the beginning of this, I don't think I would have chose Google Glass. No. Yeah. I think in terms of potential, AR is very, very much going to be a stepping stone in, into VR for a lot of people. The idea of putting on a big headset on your, on your head is going to be no, like, like you mentioned earlier with, with the glasses. Mm. If you've got something a lot smaller, and then it's a lot less of a stepping stone to, to put the, the VR headset on. There's, there's been loads of studies around this where if you ask somebody to put a huge political banner on their garden um they will they will obviously tell you tell you no but if you say look can we put this little little sign here in the corner and yeah of course and then the next week oh can we can we just add to this and add a little bit more and then before long you know when, once the door is creeped open it's it, you know it, it can come in um For sure ar leading to vr do you think that's possible yeah potentially yeah i mean like uh, it feels like you mentioned this earlier edward like it feels like ar feels like a utility yeah. right it feels like something i might use on my data like for navigation the google maps type app or, um like a communication style things in a way that vr feels i don't know maybe this is just my prejudices but more entertainment focused currently yeah. it's gaming it's fitness is good though i think that there's another technology overlap sure. for sure is there a use case overlap i'm not sure i think mixed reality is is the area where nobody seems to be paying as much attention to compared to you know the word VR and the other buzzword, but um, you know XR is it, it is really what, what what will be the most interesting thing. Like playing poker in my living room, I can see, I put it on, I can see my living room, I can see everything around, mm. but then I can also see an avatar in front of me and, and a virtual poker table, mm. and um, and the graphics aren't great, but um, that could also be applied to. Um, Will we need desktops in the future, or I mean, we don't need them now? But do, do we need laptops in the future, or will you be able to sit down, put on some glasses, and then boom, you have the screens in front of you? Mm. You know that yeah. little things like that. These increments will probably lead, lead, lead to the final verdict. Hey, thanks for watching this YouTube video. If you want to see more like this, please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.